Hey, welcome to this Super Auto Pets video. As you see on the title, it's the new version, the new update. Came out today and I wanted to get the video out quickly. So this video is out of sequence. It should be 45, but I call it 43.5. So apologies, it's going to have a small, like, a small spoiler about episode 4, but you know, it's... One of those games you can't spoil too much. But anyway, episode 44 will go out at the weekend. This would have been in 45's place, so you're, it's barely out of the loop. Anyway, enjoy the video. Goodbye. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Super Auto Pets. And you know what day it is? It's an update day. The day we're all looking forward to. This is version 16 or 0.16 as it appears on Steam. And let's just take a quick look through it. Now, there are some balance patches to the animal. Sorry, I was hovering over that before. I was just reading through them myself before. And there are now some new features. So they've added a feature to filter for public versus similar to arena. Added a match wins to stat page, 10 trophies in arena or being the last surviving versus. The Hall of Fame and Repay mode filters, I guess so you can search for specific results. Added a feature to allow flexible number of plays in a private match. Now, I've never done a private match before, have I, Millie? Sorry, Millie's now on top of me, just licking me. That's very nice of you to lick me, not bite me. That's unusual. But yeah, I've not done a private match before. I think it used to be limited to, like, the tens of players, maybe like 60. But again, I'm pulling a number out of my ass here, I've got to be honest with you. And I guess now you can change that. It's not a fixed number anymore. You can say, like, I want 10 people in my lobby. I probably want whatever the maximum was before in my lobby. Can you not eat my headphone cord, please? Go to kindly do that. If you're going to sit on here and lick me, can you not eat the headphones? Uh, what else have they added? Added a new uh, life system option for versus where you lose one life per remaining enemy minion. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Added proper sound and music sliders like a real big boy game. Wow. They're going to the big times. They're, they're getting double A status maybe. We'll see. Uh, added a game title when the game is preloading. Oh my god, amazing. I mean, I can restart this. I, I was surprised by it myself. The game, like the title, like the visuals for Super Auto Pets, appears when you boot the game now. It's glorious. I love it. Well done, developers. I like it. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it on camera. I could reload the game, but I'm not. Boot it up for yourself and find out, because this is a fantastic game. And it's free for the base pack, so do it yourself. Uh, so it's change of plays and versus won't be matched up against the same opponent in two consecutive games. That's nice. We had this... Was it in the last one of the run before? Or the episode before, sorry. Where we ran into someone twice. I think it was the episode before where we were doing mean badger builds. And we got destroyed by the same guy twice. So that's nice not to f fight the same person twice anymore. Change the heart loss sound effect to be something less heart stroke inducing. I think it was like a gunshot before, so I guess now it's going to be like a or something. I don't know. We've, I've not heard it yet. Change the pet click sound to something less thumpy. Didn't know it was an issue, but sure. We'll, I guess, hear it. Change ordering of events. Honey badgers will draw. Elephant will trigger hurt abilities before the attack. And a bunch of other changes. Now, this could be a really big one, honestly. We're going to have to, like, figure this out. So, I presume the honey badger effect now, because before the honey badger... Sorry, the badger effect would proc. Then Honey would proc, so you'd get a bee at the end of it. I presume what it means by Honey Badgers will draw now is that the bee will be spawned first, and then the Badger effect will go off after that, and the bee will die. So they've nerfed my boy the Badger. I don't think it was necessary, but I did say that I saw it creeping into a lot of games, Honey Badgers, just in the back row. So, you know what? They have the statistics, maybe it was necessary. A, a buff to the elephant as well wouldn't hurt anything. And there is a creature... That has received a buff that we have to check out today. And I'll show you in a moment. Which will go very nicely with this elephant. And I've added the change log to feel important. Very nice. Very funny. Uh, bug fixes. Stats not being gathered correctly. Sorry. Nice. The fly trigger counting down incorrectly. I've tried to count the fly trigger before. And got confused by it. So I don't know if I was wrong. The game was wrong. Or who was wrong. But apparently it's always right now. So it's going to be me that's wrong. Uh, fix getting stuck while I'm pressing pause at the end of battle. Uh, that's never happened to me, but good. Fix the Discord link. Always nice. Email confirmation, hopefully. And disappearing text. Right, here's what we want to see. The balance. Whale is now a 3-8. I think before you were a 2-6, right? You've been nerfed. Swan is now a 1-3. Swan has been significantly nerfed. I think Swan used to be 3-4. 
So it's actually lost three stats, which is kind of crazy. But it had seen a lot of people have been running swans into the late game because of the economy it gives you. By the time you're getting like a tier two swan, tier three swan, you're getting like the value of adding another like armor or another food item. So I understand the nerf there. T-Rex now does not affect itself. That's quite big. That's going to reduce wide builds. Same with the dragon. That no longer affects itself. So it's nerfing wide builds. Uh, kind of bizarrely for me, the monkey's been buffed. It now gives plus two, plus three. I'm going to nerf Millie in a minute if you don't stop trying to stand on my keyboard. Okay? You're going to be in expansion pack two and you're going to be pre-nerfed. The naughty kitty. She's a zero one little wussy. A little fluffy wussy. Who goes meow when hurt. Oh, I love you, really. All right, let's carry on. Yeah, I'm surprised the monkey got buffed, but, you know, it's a single target buffing unit. I, I I, guess I get it. I'll see what its upgrades do, hopefully, as we get into a game, because it doesn't specify here what it does at, like, you know, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Here's the big one, though. The peacock has been buffed. It's a 2-5, I think up from a 1-5, and now when it's hurt, it gains 50% attack. It's not gain plus two, it's 50%. That's huge. That's actually like... I can't express to you how big this is. If you can pump health on the peacock with like a rabbit, in the mid game, your peacock, especially with garlic, is going to get hit three or four times. And as you know, like if you... Have you ever like heard of the famous problem of, you know, would you like to be given like, I don't know, a million grains of rice or like one grain of rice a day? And it turns out after like a week or something, you have more rice than it is in China or something. I can't remember the actual adage. But it's that type of thing. If you keep getting hit, I'm getting a multiplicative attack now. It's only point, uh, sorry, it's only 50%, but it's still multiplicative. Mul multiplicative. Which is kind of insane. So I think the peacock might actually be busted, but I don't know yet. It's certainly a unit I think you could take from the early game into the mid game. I don't know how fair it, well it'll fare at the end game, but... We're going to find out. Uh, the snail has been nerfed. It now only gives plus one, plus one, not plus two, plus two. I gave it an S tier and I've been justified by it. Snail is too good. The rat now sums a dirty rat up front. I don't think that makes any difference to the rat. And duck is now a one, three instead of a one, two. So they buffed the duck. And that's it. Not a huge amount of changes, but you know. Enough to be excited. We've also lost the version 15 up here now. We can say version 16. It is saying on the, the Steam blogging page, it's version 0.16, so I don't know if they're planning a one-point version soon, and they stop calling it, like, version 14, 15, 16. But, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to any updates we get. So let's, you know, let's check this one out. I think we're going to stay on the standard pack. The standard pack has the duck in it, and that's now a 1-3. I just want to scroll down to the monkey. The monkey's also in this pack. And I also want to check the peacock. Ah, so this is how the peacock works. So it's 50% more attack, but works one time. Then works two times, then works three times. Okay. Interesting. So maybe the peacock's not as busted as I thought it was going to be, but... I still think that could be quite good. Like, you're, you're approaching, like, dodo levels there. And the dodo's not awful. I don't understand the rat. So now the rat has... A level 3 effect. And a level 2 one. It summons one, one, one dirty rat up front, then two, then three. That's getting worse unless it's pushing units out the back. I don't quite see that. Rat, we're going to have to check you out. Uh, Swan is just a 1 3. The effect has stayed the same. Doesn't say anything different than the badger. I imagine it doesn't say anything to do with the aura. Where is Monkey? You're a tier 5. So yeah, Snail is now 1-1, one, one, then 2-2, two, two, then 3-3. Three, three. I've never, ever had the level 2 or level 3 Snail. Where are you, monkey? So it's now 2 3 four, six, six, nine. Nice. I like it. You are probably really strong then. Have, so they haven't changed anything else. The world is now 3-8. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into a game. An actual game. Oh, this text is now here. Choose a different pack of pets to play with. I mean, give me more packs to play with, please. And I'll choose different ones. Okay. I mean, either the shop has laughed at me. I'm also worried about this... The bar spinning in the top left. Come on, game. You know you want to work. 
<laughs> Please don't be like this. Please don't be like this. Has my Steam not updated properly? I might have to restart the game. We'll see. I'll give it a second. I, I'm. This isn't going to be a technical to Mark Four episode. I'm not doing any uploads right now. I can promise you that. There we go. We're in. We figured out how to get into the game. Right. Do I want two pigs and a a beaver? No. Do I want a horse, an otter, and a pig? I guess. <laughs> Reluctantly, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll buff the horse, I suppose, over the pig. And I'll pick up a pig. When you're peckish, pick up a pig. Name your team. We are going to be... The improper pieces. No, we're the rude pieces. The rude pieces. You piece. Are you enjoying this, Be uh, Bessie? Merely. You know, we had a very endearing moment with the cats earlier. I say we. It was me, Millie, and Bessie. Almost every time Millie goes up to Bessie, she slaps her on the head. I don't know if it's her turn to assert dominance, but Bessie always beats her afterwards. This time, she got into the cat, cat tower, saw Bessie was in the top spot, the, you know, the king, the head honcho spot, the comfy spot. She didn't slap her. She gave her a little sniff. And then you went down one level and had a sleep, didn't you? That was a very good girl thing to do. That was very nice. She appreciated that. Didn't she? Yeah, she did. And I appreciated it too. It shows a sign of you maturing and growing up. And not being a little a bratty girl, doesn't it, Millie? You're a little bratty cat. Anyway, clearly we're having some uh, server issues right now. I assume everyone in the mats is. Millions upon millions of people. Okay. <laughs> I've tried to load into the game and check out the update and they're having some traffic issues right now. Oh. We're on a new screen. There is also a chance that things may be balked. <laughs> I might have to... I, I might have to... Uh, Pause and wait for them to fix this because clearly there's something not going on. Now I could just regale you with stories of how good this girl is. There wouldn't be too many because Don, she's, she's an asshole 90% of the time, but she's my little asshole, so I love her. Well, alright. I think I will. I'm going to stop the recording and then I'll stitch together. Another episode, never mind, you would start loading. Do we just try like this? I mean, currently I'm just looking at a black screen. Have the Giga Mark IV technical issue episode, which isn't my fault this time. I can preface it with, it's not my fault. Oh, well, now the other annoying thing is I can't even leave anymore because I don't have the bar in the top right. Do not adjust your TV monitors. What you're seeing is a black screen. It's what I'm seeing, too. Okay. The Rude Pieces versus the Crispy Fied Craters. I don't think I've seen Crispy Fied Craters before. That's a horrible trade for me. Okay, we lose. We lose the first round of version 16. Okay, we're getting faster. <laughs> okay, apparently that is a better noise for, you know, the heart effect being dropped. I thought it was going to be a little plop noise, but no, it's like a dragon just roaring and crunching your soul. Alright. Uh, this shop is awful again. Where are all the good animals? I don't hate the beaver, but I'd rather not run a beaver. But I'm actually considering it. Okay, these are better animals. It's still pretty bad for me. But I can justify a cricket. I can justify an ant. And honestly, I can justify a piggy at 4 2. And I'll run 4 2 pig at the front. Okay, we're, we're getting better. It just took a while, you know. The, the, the gears had to spin up. 
Get all the dust out of the system, all the dirt. Are you having 90 dance on turn two? Okay, we, we tie. The first tie of version 16. No dragon chomping my heart. But a tier three piggy. Okay, rat, you are going to be tested. Aw, oh, the snail. I honestly don't think the snail is worth freezing for now. It's kind of worthless. Speaking of kind of worthless, I, I think I'm going to... Oh, I think I'm going to sell the horse, maybe? I would like the rat, just to test the rat out. The best opportunity to test the rat out is to remove a creature. The pig doesn't really have much of a future, but it has got all my stats right now. The horse has picked up some stats, too. But the cricket synergizes with the horse. Actually, the ant is probably the best thing to get rid of. I'll roll once for a pill. Okay, goodbye, ant. This does... It does ruin my economy, and I really did not want to hit that. Faint. Summon one... One, one dirty rat up front for the opponent. Let's see how this works. I'm going to put you front and center. In the hopes that you don't actually die. No, sorry. In the hopes you do die. I want you to die instantly to see if the unit summoned pushes you back. Otherwise, I don't get why it's beneficial for me to produce extra ones. Other than potentially powering up a hippo. Maybe that's the play now. You produce three rats in the front for them and then you hippo behind your rat. And the hippo just munches on the rats. Hmm. Hmm. I'm also considering selling the pig, even though she said you are on my stats. The spider is potentially better. Depends what you get. Your reliefs are four four right now for me, but if you give me a ram, you're better than that. So I'm actually going to sell the pig. And I'm going to pick up a spider. It synergizes better with the horse as well. And do I want a tier 3 pig? Not really. That gave me more money than I was expecting. Why? I'm done. Okay, that's the answer. Simple answer, really. This does give me some rerolls as well. I do appreciate some rerolls. Eventually. Man, that scared me. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. I was just stroking the cat and looking at her. Okay. Do I need to pill anything? I could pill the spider. That's kind of funny, but I think it would be the wrong play. There's no reason to roll. We'll invest in horses. Peacock is in base builds, right? Yeah, I saw it. I'm, I'm thinking nonsense. Oh, one three swan. By the way, I still think the swan is insane. I still think it's really good. So you are just a one one dirty rat. Okay. You don't have like any betray trigger or anything. That's kind of what I was looking for there. Okay, I'm not going to tear up my horse yet because I would like to get an early tier four creature. I don't necessarily mind losing the Lord right now. The unit that I want to buff... Probably neither of these. Sorry. I say neither of them. Roll me once. Uh, the Peacock is something I would like to see. I don't think this is Peacock build though, so I'm going to say no to you right now. We'll check you out on another run. Who's going to live longest here? I, I hate to say this, but right now the horse might live longest. And I really don't want it to be the horse. I could buff the rat, but I kind of don't want to right now. I kind of want him to die. No, Mr. Rat, I expect you to die. I'm feeling very much like Blofeld right now with Millie sat on my knee. But she's enjoying the animals too. It's a very strange thing about Millie, actually. She watches me play anything with Mario in it. She loves Mario. Okay, we, we've learned something new there. We've... Thank you for the RAM. We've learned that 
the, the rats do not push out units, which is what I expected. We also know we're going to lose this one. That's not a surprise. They've gone full horse build. Full honey build. Congratulations, Illegal Tugboat. You found lots of jars of honey, whereas I found none. Right. This is where we're going to grow, though. It's a Pepe Le Pure. Do I want a skunk? I think... What is wrong with you now, Millie? Okay, she's going. She's done. She's out of here. Uh, I think the otter, your time is up. The skunk has some potential. You're probably not the unit I want, but you're better than a one to otter. And I need to start turning around a few of my results now. I don't think anything else here is useful. Nerfed snail. What if I pill the rat now? No, that, that does nothing. Well, this happened in the wrong order. I'm going to sell the rat. Be not because I don't want to check it out. I do want to check you out, but this is not the build to check you out on. I, I somehow accidentally rolled into a horse build. I say accidentally, I did it completely intentionally. But I don't think the horse rat is the dream. The dirty rat. I think I need dirty rat with just pure stats and then eventually pick into, go into a hippo. I think that's where I can get my max value. You have a big squirrel. Not big enough, though. Okay. We're just cycling right now. I do not need a snail. Goodbye. I still think the turtle is a great unit. I will pill you. I think Boogie Woogie is dead, as I titled in the last episode. Uh... I think the cricket no longer is worth getting. I think I'd prefer a sheep. Because you are 6-6 six, six in stats. This is 5-6 in stats, so it's just an upgrade. I know I'm about to tear you up, but I think you've taken too long. And then I think we want to garlic a unit. And the unit I'm going to garlic is my... Ooh. Uh, who do I want to garlic? A, a, I think I want to garlic my skunk and actually move the turtle back and then move you here. I think this is fine. We freeze a sheep. We'll freeze two sheep. Okay, I'm being rewarded for my decisions. I could garlic the sheep as well, but I don't think I need to right now. We're looking for a turkey, honestly, to make this work now. And a, probably a pill for the turtle. Uh, okay, so when he's running the peacock... Skunk, great counter to Peacock, by the way. Thank you for the dirty rap. It, it's getting stronger and stronger. Okay, they're running the build I kind of want to do. Where? Oh, that has changed the order. Your armor goes off before the badger now. Because that's not the way that used to play out, I think. I think the badger would have hit me and then I would have got melon. That's kind of interesting. Okay. But yeah, getting a rabbit and a uh, a peacock, I think that could be a good build. All right, give me a tier 5. I mean, the rhino's one thing that could work with a dirty rat, but I'm going to say no to now. I'm just going to pick up more and more of the same units. If you want to give me another turtle, I'll take a turtle. But I'm honestly looking for a pill right now. Honey, I think, is past its sell-by date, but that's kind of debatable. The only unit right now I could honey as well is the sheep. Well, that's not quite true. I could honey the spider too. Right, you're playing a big dirty rat. Now I have two dirty rats. Sorry, you're playing a big rat and I get the dirty rats. I think that's how that works. I don't think I'm getting through this. Never mind. I am getting through this. We're going to tie. I forgot about melon. Bizarrely. Uh, another Pepe. Uh, goodbye, turtle. 
Hello, skunk. I could pick up another turtle and combine the skunks. I don't think I need it right now. I regret not picking up all these turtles now. <laughs> I think that might have been the better play. We don't have a tier 3. I think this is optimal for a round. And then we can sort things out. And honestly, the penguin might be the next best thing. We're about to get another unit to level 2. The horse is already level 2. That can give me some form of scaling. Something is slowly coming together here. Uh, the ox frightens me somewhat. Oh, you also sniped one of my horses. Well done. Not a ram. Uh, we're going to lose this one, I think. No, we're not. We're going to win it. <laughs> Called it too early. I, I need to remember my horse is 10-8 as well. Like, it's not a weak unit at the back. For this stage of the game, that's kind of chonky. Don't worry, this screen's always been slow. Right, we're on tier 5 now, and there's more sheeps. It's sheeps all the way down. Uh, I should just buy you immediately. Okay. Look, you're not going to like this. I think the fly is better. And you might like less what I'm considering doing. I'm considering selling the skunk. But I think the skunk is better for me. My worry right now is I'm actually having zero scaling. And it does worry me a lot. But you know what? You can't always win every game. Sometimes you just have to check out a bit early. Before attack deal one damage to friend behind. Okay, he's no longer on attack. Uh, I'm also going to freeze up honey. It's not too late for honey. We should really honey the sheep. <laughs> the sheep will stay here. I think the skunk is not long for this world anymore. If we can pick up a turkey then, we're good. Okay, we weakened the whale. The rooster frightens me somewhat, but you're only level one. Yeah, and we have flies. We still have flies. That's the last fly trigger. Yeah, that fly worked exactly as they expected. Okay. Cool. You give me another skunk. I'm going to say no to the skunk. Again, it's not you, it's me. I just... I don't need the skunk right now. I'm just going to honey you two. The skunk is my next unit that leaves. The penguin... No. We're, we're turkey boys in their, our hearts. We're turkey farmers. We're farming for turkeys. And if I can get a turkey, I'll put the turkey where the... I'd probably put it in front of the horse, get rid of the skunk, and then we're looking for a tiger to double like the turkey. And I think then we have the perfect summon build. Well, we have a good summon build, at least. Not the perfect one. We'd also miss some summon triggers, but... That's by the by. In fact, maybe we get rid of the spider and keep the skunk. Okay, buffed monkey. That's kind of scary. Okay, someone builds doing some work. Honey Badger doesn't work anymore. Did you not read the patch notes? Oh, it does work. <laughs> what? I'm sure the patch notes said that didn't work like that. Developers? Did you lie to us? Or am I misunderstanding? Okay, level three sheep. Deal. Leopard is okay. I, I think the skunk is my versatile unit right now. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, monkey could be good, but I think I'd prefer the fly. This is a bit disrespectful. What I think I'm going to do is one-up the fly. And freeze the spider. 
If the fly dies... Oh, I tell you what would be interesting. Hang on a minute. I've just had a genius plan, but I don't know how I'd ever bring it about. If I can make them kill my fly after it's triggered three times, will I get three triggers back? The only way I can think of doing it is with hedgehogs. Can I use hedgehog fly to get, like, a bunch of flies? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I... I'm actually doing the mental arithmetic. I'm going to make a note about this. Is this smart? Fly, hedgehog. And then one up the fly. I'm mean, one up the hedgehog as well, too. Why not? Fucking do both. And just get flies all the way down. I've just thrown my pen across the room in excitement, trying to click it. Infinite. I spelled infinite wrong, but flies. And I've also spelled flies wrong. Perfect. My brain isn't melted. Uh, let's actually start a run. God, that spelling is so fucking bad. Uh, who are we up against? Okay, it's a hedgehog, badger build, seal. Okay, some of the usual pretenders. But also the peacock now, you scare me. It's only level one though, so it's had its trigger. Yeah, we're good. That does not work the way I thought it meant in the patch notes when it says Honey Badger will be a tie. But maybe I'm not understanding things correctly. Okay, easy round so far. I'm happy enough just to triplicate all my units. Again, we're going to start coming up against squads that are just better. As soon as I come up against someone like this. Although it's only one static unit, so my skunk is going to put you down to size. I'm bringing you down to my level again. Oh, that's a good unit to get. Well, it's actually, I lose a trigger here, but whatever. I still get a free 7 attack from it, so I think it was good. I've got a 1-up on my fly. We win. Where did that honey badger go? I'm very confused by how the badger's working right now. Or honey badger specifically. No. No. Yes. Yes. I think the spider goes. I think the turkey provides more for me. I think I freeze you, 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 not you, and I roll twice. Okay. This might be rough, but it'll get better. Also, I probably should move the horse right now. I don't think the horse should be behind the, the sheep. Uh, you have a 50-50. You have a 50-17, actually. Uh, the snipe build is a bit spooky. You just muted my sheep. We need ants. Uh, sorry, ants. Flies. Kill my fly! Kill it! Damn you. Uh, we're going to lose this one, I think. Oh, yeah, we're losing this one. Close, though. Considering it ruined my sheep. Not bad. Right. So what do I want to do? I think I want to do this instead. Because really I only want the one up after... Well, there's no spider anymore. I think this is fine. I think actually either is fine. Hmm. Maybe I want it like this. Maybe I actually want the crocodile to eat the fly. So I put the fly at the back. And you know what, for an immediate benefit, let's do this. Okay, we have to make a decision now. And I say now, it'll be next turn we make the decision. Do I stay with the turkey build, or do I put a tiger behind the fly? I think a tiger behind the fly is bad. The tiger behind the turkey, though, and sell the horse, kind of spicy. I lose a lot of stats. But I gained so much more on the summon triggers. 
I think that is honestly better. In fact, I should have not re-rolled. I think I should have just sold the horse then and there and bought a tiger to put behind the turkey. Okay, we're going to cut down your crab. It's now one health. How does that feel? Good. Okay. That felt bad. You snacked my turkey. And now you win because of it. Okay. We're on lethal now. So sell horse. It is time to sell the horse. Buy a tag cup. The turkey needs a way to survive. More than the, the fly level. I think we unfreeze the fly and roll. I need more slots. The turkey now might live. No. That's bait. I guess garlic on the skunk as well doesn't really help me anymore. But nor does honeying it, because that will just stop a fly spawn. I think everything here is useless. I think I roll three times and just hope. The melon could be nice and the tiger. And we were close to getting a level three fly. It would be nice to get one, but I think we just have to go for every win I can get now. And this leads me to my best chance of winning. Uh... Fool, like, a fool you are. You're running double scorpion into fly builds. They're going to be angry. They're going to be molding at their chair right now, looking at what's going on. It's like, this, this mf is running a fly build. Your honey badger isn't going to save you now. He nearly did, though. Oh, never mind, it is going to save you. It said honey badger's draw now. I guess it, we did end up in a draw, but... All right. Uh, get on the tiger. Just stop it being sniped. The next improvement is getting the turkey up there. So I'm going to throw that there. And since I've only got three golds, take the garlic off, put a melon there. Not a significant improvement. I think we're going to lose now. We, we're tying too many games. We're going to get into better and better teams. Oh, it's 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 me, but weaker now. Oh, never mind, you have a level 2 turkey. You're me, but stronger. Yeah, you're me, but stronger. Oh, it's a level 3 tiger, I've noticed. Uh, this is... This is really bad. I'll get more flies than... You know, I don't. I'm dead. <laughs> you know what? Not too bad. Considering they had all the tigers and turkeys that I was looking for. And the fly was my last unit, and it stole my heart. So it's specific to the animals as well, the heart thing. Okay, I, I like that. Right, also the game's sped up a little bit. I think we can just roll back into it. There we go. Everyone's now just done the patch, I guess. Maybe we were the first ones, I have no idea. Probably not, though. Uh, I will buy you, you. Reluctantly you, and I'm actually going to freeze you. We shall be the... The edible eruptions. Don't read too much into it. Okay. Not the unit I wanted to snipe. It's actually cost us as well. I think we would have tied that had you not sniped there. Well, actually, if you sniped the horse, I would have still had a bad time. Okay, we're running a horse build again. And honestly... How are you going to get through this squad? This is like the nightmare squad for an early game build. All the summon triggers. Two horses. Now, I am again becoming very mentally aware that I'm not really showing off any of the new units. As a new unit. The newly changed units. It will come. It will come. Cricket be combined. I'll pick my ant. I'll combine the horses. Wrap me. 
Wrap me. Freeze the pill as well, because I might get rid of the ant literally next turn. We'll move away from the horse build. I, I'm not too set on it right now. We haven't put all the stats into horse. They've gone into cricket this time. So, it's not the end of the world if I... If I switch. That's kind of the end of the world, though. We're going to tire this. Slightly different ordering, we win that, but... I'll live with it. Okay. Goodbye, horse. And everyone, I want you to repeat after me. Pray the ant hits the peacock. Pray. 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 You peace. Uh, okay, I'll pick up a flamingo then. <laughs> Pill the flamingo. I mean... Pick up a pick. So, we have a nice start and then a bit of a joke backline. The pig is literally here for a round. Don't get too attached to him. Okay, we lose into the otter, which is fine. You snipe the two... You snipe the unit I don't care about. Now, it wasn't bad... Sorry, it was really bad for me that you went straight through my peacock. Your squad is insane, by the way. How the hell have you got an insane squad like that by this stage? I don't know. Anyway. Necessary? Unnecessary. Gain an extra gold. So when I sold the pig last game, oh yeah, it produces an extra two gold instead. So I sell it for three instead. I think that's how I did the maths wrong. Sorry, it's a level two unit, so it sells for two, but it sells for two, so it sells for four. Okay, I know how I did the maths wrong. Okay. I understand now. Uh, honestly, roll me. Rat me. Ratatami. That's actually just, a, you know, that's just kicking dust in my eyes at this point. Elephant me. Elephant me. I don't care about running a four squad, Marty. The otter is doing nothing for me right now. We might want a garlic as well on the rat, if we're going to play with the rat. Now, I have to be slightly aware that the peacock only has one charge right now. So I don't really want the elephant to attack twice. He gains no benefit from attacking again. Also, the rat. The rat, it hurts. Okay, stop hitting it. Stop hitting it. It's fine. We, we lose again, but we were, we were prepared for this. We were prepared for the worst. We just need to tear up the peacock rapidly. Oh, hello, fish, by the way. It's nice for you to show up now in the game. Too late to sh matter. Again, I'm not against running a four squad Marty, if that's what you want from me. But I don't think it is. I think what you actually want from me is to pick up a badger? No. Eh, uh, maybe pick up a badger, actually. Pick up a badger? A badger? Back, back line badger? The BB? Back line badger? The BLB, sorry. Or do you want me to lean into the elephant? Shall I garlic my elephant? No, because I don't want the elephant to stay alive that long. You know what? I'm going to do that. Crazy, I know. It's actually honestly just mathematically better to buy the elephant, but... Let's try and get the peacock some more attack quicker. You have just fully meted up your squad. This is disgraceful tactics. This is the tactics that, you know, win you all the early games, put you in the easy bracket. I'm trying to slog through, like, the mid game here. Alright, well done. Hey, we're on lethal. This is bad. This can be good. I could just buy a cricket now. Let's see what I get. <laughs> okay, freeze the cow. I'm, I'm running cow build, apparently. 
Hit Poe is what I want. This is the other unit I want in this build, I think. To be honest with you, I don't think I can run these two builds. I'm straddling two builds right now. I don't think they're going to work together. Uh, you've got Ed scaling. Oh my god, your Ed is actually scaling too. It's crazy. Right, there's your dirty rat for you. Kill, kill, kill the, the elephant quicker. Kill the elephant quicker. Oh, we've lost. We've, we've giga lost. It's bad. All right. You know what? We'll pretend this game didn't happen. What can I summarize? The peacock is bait still. The peacock is actually trash to you. <laughs> I think they tried to buff you, but you are awful. Oh, I say you're awful. I honestly think what I can judge from this is the dirty rat and a peacock is too much. Right, I'm not taking a horse again. I refuse. I'm going to take a fish. We will be the overpowered organisms, because that's honestly just what I am. Wow, what a snipe from them. Incredible. They hit the one in three twice. 11% chance of a victory, and they hit it. Of course they did. Eh... Uh, I think the best chance for me to get a win here is just a honey, but I'm going to use my reroll. Okay, this is fine too. I'm going to combine the fish and play an otter. And you can also hit the fish, I can take that. And we'll run something like this. It's a Wesley squad again. You are running a two squad, Marty. A massive cojones. I don't think it's going to play out well for you. But I respect it. I also question it, but I do respect it. Right, okay. Give me that. Combine that. Give me that. Buy that. Where did this... Oh, I know where that came from. I'm actually done. Hmm... Kangaroo. Maybe. I mean, I'm happy enough to go and get a Wesley, if you, sorry, a Wesley, an Ed Scaling of a Wesley Snipes. If you want me to get a level 3 Mosquito as fast as possible, I'll do it. Okay, you get a, a Dirty Rat, that's fine. Your fish is bigger than my fish. But it doesn't matter. Perfect. Okay, the question now is, do I want the otter? Answer, I think I do. I think I'm willing to sell the sheep, even though I just bought it. And keep the otter for the chance that he might hit the kangaroo. I'll keep buying Wesley's. Roll me. Honestly, I think I'll just take the meat this time. We're building around the rat, so let's meet the rat, because the rat is going to stay here. No, Peacock, not for you today. You're not part of the idea. I think my, my grand plan is to get a dirty rat in front of a hippo. But I don't think the dirty rat wants to be at the front. I think it wants to be somewhere down. I think I need to... I need a juggernaut at the front, like someone that like softens them up. Yeah, a bruiser, if you will. We have a bruiser at the front. This is really bad, by the way. A bruiser at the front that like softens them up. And then we produce dirty rats on their board. And then my hippo goes, no, 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 no. That's the play. Okay. Yes. Goodbye. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Who do I buff here then? You know what? The chunky unit can be the rat as long as I buff him. So take one of these and call me in the morning, rat. You are just called rat. And, oh no. I was going to say I should move the kangaroo forward, but I shouldn't. The kangaroo is fine. Honestly, the kangaroo probably doesn't have a place in the squad long term. I probably should have kept the sheep. But I don't hate straddling two lines at this point in the game. Right, we got some decent value off the rat. And then we just hit your elephant. Perfect. 
I'll giraffe. I don't think I need anything else here. The rabbit is what I want. What I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna rabbit. Uh, freeze this one and roll me once. Decisions. <clears throat> I'm going to sell the fish. Pick up a turtle. And roll twice. Do I freeze the turtle? No, I think I leave the turtle. I think I'll pill the turtle for next turn. I kind of regret not going turtles now. What's the game plan here? So the game plan is to put melon on the mosquito. That means the mosquito is as good as the fish. It creates a space for the hippo. And I can make the rats give me a tier 5 unit. Which I'm looking for a monkey right now. A monkey would hit differently. Uh, I'm not going to get through your kangaroo. It hurts to sell a kangaroo and then, you know, be beaten by a kangaroo, but... That's this game at times. Alright, let's see what unit I get from here. Never smile, because it's a crocodile. Alright, I'll double bun. I say don't smile at crocodile. Honestly, the crocodile I should mess about with more. You're probably better than the mosquito right now. But I don't have the money for you right now. I'm just... I'm leaning purely into this dirty rat. This dirty, filthy, stinking rat. And in fact, I probably should have put the melon on you. Now that I think about it. It would have made more sense. Hey, the rat spawn was blocked. That's actually perfect for me. Perfect time to die. Parrot build. Well, we're going to tie. I'll take that. You definitely have a more coherent build than I do. But do you have one with more love than I do? Doubt. Okay. <laughs> it wants me to roll crocodile. I still say no to you. I don't want to roll crocodile. The parrot doesn't help me. The question right now is, do I want the mosquito to get the buff, actually? Or do I want the rabbit to get it? I think I've now made my bed that the, the mosquito is going to stay for a long time. So I'm going to give the mosquito the buff. And we have one giant rat. Okay, it's horse build again. Why is everyone running horse build suddenly? Like, last time it was badger build and badger got nerfed. Apparently. I, I don't quite understand how it was nerfed. And today I run some horse builds and everyone's running horse builds. What's going on? Uh, we lose. Alright, we're on lethal. By the way, where are my hippos? That can work instead. Let's do it. So the rat kills a bunch of people. Summon some 1-1 one, one tokens and the boar deals with them. Now, I would very much like to put melon on my rat. But I don't think I can do it in an easy way right now. So I'm going to not buy the turtle. A goodbye mosquito. I'm building for my future. <laughs> and my future is this dirty rat. This filthy, stinking rat. And then, what do I take from all these units? A dolphin. Can I snipe a scorpion? Because I'm very susceptible to scorpion right now. Okay, it's going to snipe a deer instead. Right, we've created space. we created a lot of space. We've created all the space in the world. But you see, the boar now pops. 
I think there's legitimately a strategy here. No, you're not in the plan for the future. I think it's too late to garlic. I'm just going to roll this. I'm going to leave the dolphin in for now until I decide what's actually going to happen. Oh, goodbye. Pick up the monkey. Okay, I'm going crazy right now. I think the boar is the next unit I want to buff up. Now, I, I get the benefit of having the seal. I think the seal would have been pretty good too. But I spent too much that turn. The rabbit is here to deal with a scorpion. I have no scorpion sniping tactics. No, you can't be there. I'm fucked. If there's a scorpion, I just die. I just lose. I actually should have sold the rabbit, not the, the, the dolphin. Please don't want a scorpion at the front. I'm begging you. It's a badger. This is fine. Hey. Nom. Chop. Chop. Oh, he's feeding. He's feasting. He's dead. But we win. Okay. I, I think I've done it. Oh my god. We might have actually done it. The best scaling now for this strategy is to get the boar popping, I think. You're almost, like, 50 health anyway. You don't need more health there. The boar needs some assistance, though. He needs to survive. Like, he's nearly died a few times. Again, we lose as soon as they summon a... I I'm just going wild right now. That's what we need. We lose as soon as they have a scorpion at the front. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm fully invested in rat build. We'll melon him now to protect him from scorpions. Or try to protect him from a scorpion. It's perfect. It's another horse build. This is the count of the horse build. It's rat build. I get two rats. You do buff them. Actually, the buff is annoying. But, but, the tiger gives it that extra little bit of flavour. It's not even flavour because you're not eating the tiger. It's, you know, it's the waiter at the restaurant. You, they put down like a bowl of pasta, a nice bowl of pasta. And they went, like, they get the pepper mill out and it's like, pepper surf. And it's like, yes, please, of course. That's what the tiger is doing. It's peppering the boar. Right, you have to get melons. And this build gets even better. If I can tear up the rat again. And if it can kill three units. I am relying on the rat killing three units. It's a, it's a you know, a, a heavy ask. But I believe. Oh, you gave me more melons. I should not complain. I should honestly melon the boar as well. That would have been a better play than putting another rat on. Yeah, I should remember melon the ball there. So that he doesn't get snouted by something. By the way, why did I sell the rabbit and pick up a cat? I just wanted to try and scale another unit faster with foods. Which is kind of what I was hoping for here. I was hoping for a scaling food, so I just start scaling my board. Or my board. But apparently, we're not going to be playing this game anymore. The game is deciding, no, this build is too strong. It's like, you know, they can't handle the numbers I'm putting out. Like, it's like, what's this win percentage on this rat? Like, they're on the phone. It's like, hello, Team Wood Games. So he's, he, he's winning with rats. He's winning with rats. Like, get the key. Two people put a key into, you know, the, the key socket, turn it at the same time, and a button comes out, and they've just pushed the button and nuked my game. Uh, I, I feel like this is a bit of a cheat. The, the, the play hasn't gone through. I'm going to do what I was going to do, though. Rather than put the melon on the ball, which I think is the more optimal play. I'm actually going to freeze the melon for the ball next turn. You might have looked at that as a gift from God. Maybe the, it's actually the opposite. Teamwood game going like, holy shit, this guy's using our rat. Push the button and like make him 
undo his misplay that turn. But I'm like, no, I don't need that. If I misplay, I misplay. Oh. In fact, is the rat just going to kill you? No, he's not. Feast, boar. You have a rat feast. Oh, he's growing. He's growing. Oh, so are they, actually. <laughs> Ox is kind of the counter to this build, but sure. Seven wins. Right. Let's melon you while I still remember. Food effects are doubled, by the way. Right. A rat is now strong. It's actually so strong that it's approaching a point where I could justify removing the monkey. In fact, I can justify removing the monkey. But I'm not going to just yet. I think when your attack gets into the 40s, I will remove you. I'm actually going to freeze these two. I I'm waiting until it's run into a 50-50. That's closing in on a 50-50. You snake my cat, I don't care. The cat is not part of this build. Now, I did not produce as many rats this time. This might be the end. This is where our story ends. It's where our story ends. Man, if I could have replaced the uh, the monkey with a skunk then, or the cat with a skunk, I think we could have gone places with that build. It's still really good. Anyway, that's going to do it for this version 16, or version 0.16, depending on how you want to look at build. If you enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe.